Hey there, tinkerers. If you happen to be in my dragster module, you know we've used wheels like this for our dragsters. We use steel axles like this that are one eighth of an inch in diameter, which you're going to need to store for later. And I'm going to challenge you right now to create your own cool wheels for your dragster, if you choose to do so. The first thing we need to do is convert that 1 8 of an inch to millimeters and it's 3.175. So we need the hole for our dragster's axle to be 3.175 millimeters. I'm going to just grab that whole cylinder out. Since it's transparent, it's real easy to get it on one of the center dots. You can see I'm just lining that up. And with it right on that dot, I'm going to change those numbers to 3.75. And I think I'm going to give it a little bit of gap. I'm going to go 3.8. And I'm going to go 3.8. Just because I find quite often that my prints uh, run smaller than the measurements. And then I'm going to line it back up to the center. We don't need this to be 20 millimeters. Uh, you can pick whatever you want. I'm going to have a 5 millimeter uh, thickness for my wheel at the hub area but I'm gonna have it super thin on the outside so that it's uh, less heavy and hopefully has less friction I'm gonna bring my wheel out right now it's 20 by 20 the stock wheels you'll need to look at your car to see if you can change these measurements but the stock are 35 millimeters so I'm gonna keep mine at 35 millimeters just so that it stays consistent to help line this all up I'm gonna make it transparent so once again I can see that I've got it in the right spot when I zoom in it's not quite letting me get where I want so I'm gonna go by half millimeters and that's because 35 can't be divided in two and then I want my main uh, rim to only be two millimeters thick. And then I want to take out uh, some area on this so that it's lighter. And I'm going to do that with these wedge-like spokes using the green triangle. So I'm going to set my work plane to the top here and I'm going to bring the triangle out. I'm going to rotate it. And these are just ideas. If you've got a cooler idea, this is where you show off your design skills. I'm not going to do any math on this one. I'm just going to pick a number that looks cool to me at the moment. That's a good amount of space, I believe. I'm going to make it a hole. And then I'm going to do Control-D to duplicate it. And I want to rotate that duplicate 90 degrees. And I'm going to move it over so that it's exactly lined up on that line right there. The same as the first one's lined up. I'm going to press W so I can get back to my main uh, lines. And now you can see that blue line I'm trying to line up is one to the right. Looks like I'm going to have to go to 0.25 for my snap grid to get those where I want. Spin around and take a look at it from this side. So I'm going to do some fancy stuff here to look at this from the top so I'm sure I'm getting the right view. I'm going to zoom to exactly that spot. It was lined up. It was just an illusion. So now I'm going to take the two of those and I'm going to duplicate them. And I want to rotate them 90 degrees. Remember, if you snap to those lines, it makes life a lot easier. I am going to go back to my 2 millimeter moves so that it moves faster. I'm going to rotate it another 90 degrees. Sorry, I didn't catch that on the first one. Now, I could use the Align tool. But because I had these so close in the first place, I think it's going to be easier to just dial them in like this. With the four of those selected, I want to cut them out again. So I'm going to grab number one. I'm going to hold down shift and grab number two. Number three, I'm going to do them this way. It's faster. 
So now I've got all four of them selected again. I'm going to do Control D. I'm going to rotate that whole group. And just like that, I have cut out a ton on my cool new wheel. And when I do group, I have got something interesting that I can test out on the track. If I wanted to make it even lighter, I could do this. I'm going to bring another uh, cylinder out. Um, I know I made the other 35, so I'm going to make this 32 and 32. And this time I am going to use the align tool to center them. Pop. Pop. And then I'm going to choose to make this raise up. I've got it on 0.25. So I'm going to raise it up. A whole millimeter and then when I group that I've even taken away more mass on my cool new experimental wheel so use that kind of strategy to make your own experimental wheels make sure you name them so you can keep track put your initials on it and if you design a wheel we can print it out and test it on your dragster see if it makes it faster slower find smarter choices see what you can do to make your dragster set the new mod tech class world record have fun and keep tinkering